My name's Alex, aka Heb. And my name's Ollie, aka Griff. Welcome to the Heb and Griff podcast, where we talk all things creative. Hey, welcome to the show. Uh, that was the first time doing an intro, if that sounded weird. Yeah, we're just <laughs> testing this out. It's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit different. De- Dex got a bigger job this time. Yeah, now he has to point yeah. <laughs> when, when we're supposed to talk. And he's got all eyes on him while we're waiting for the suspense of the drop. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think, can we have a little bit more counting next time? Because okay. <laughs> he just kind of yeah, just... <laughs> I don't, oh, okay. That's why it made it sound a little bit odd. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> Good work then, mate. Yeah. Getting there. So what are we now? Is this episode five? This will be episode five, yeah. 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 Um, we've not got a massive lot to talk about today. No. But... General chit-chat. General chit-chat. I think you um, had a bit of an idea. I'm going to do a little quiz for you. A quiz? Yeah, test your photography knowledge. Um, and it's just photography... I think Quiz. it's just photography. <laughs> Again, yeah. a lot of research done. How many questions? Uh, I th- I'm going to try to keep it to like 10 or 12. So okay, okay. Um, yeah, don't like I said, don't give me any uh, theory. Because <laughs> I don't know <laughs> we just some chest ones, the we? theory of photography. Well, we <laughs> give, give me any question on gear yeah. and I'll tell you some kind of an answer. Yeah. We did some test ones and you got it right, though. But it was just a lucky guess. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that was a complete guess. Um, you want to hear for that deck? No. The question was a, who who took a picture of John Lennon before he was shot, and there's a few multiple choice ones, but Annie Leibovitz was the answer, and I was like, oh, you must you got it right, and I was like, oh, you must know that because Annie Leibovitz is a very famous photographer, but it was literally just a lucky guess. Yeah, it was a lucky guess, <laughs> but um, yeah, I could I've could have could have subconsciously heard the name, probably, and, have, yeah. um, that's why I said it, but yeah, complete guess. So yeah. the whole question, call questionnaire, could be a complete guess. So. <laughs> wow. um, this is going to go towards our overall score, though. I think, and I think we figured it out. Which that, I'm currently winning. Yeah. Well, I think we figured it out that it's like one-one, right? So there was is it? the it's logo one. game. Logo oh, no, game. Actually, I think it's I think it's one-zero. Well, you've done two. How could it be one-zero? No, because we did the logo game, which which I lost. Which he lost. <laughs> Um, again, I'll I'll say that was not your field of expertise, so don't take it as a too hard a loss. No, no. Um, it's all right. I'm not taking it to heart. Real I'll sky- just cry in bed at night. You know? <laughs> Do it anyway. Um, <laughs> Real sky, fake sky, which I won. And then I've said that last week you had a chance with the floss to win a point. Well, I did the floss. Yeah, not for so the time. Point. I think I'm going to... But I needed to warm I'm, up. You've clearly flossed uh, every night. <laughs> so. I'm, I'm going to give you your chance now. <laughs> okay. To to redeem yourself. Can I get two points? No, you can get, get one. Oh. Don't be stupid, I mean. Um, <laughs> so if you'd like to give it a go, if you get it right first time... So what are we time, classing as a win? Like, if, if you get it right first time, Deck and I will be the Get judge. what right first time? The floss. Oh, right. Am I flossing? No, yeah. Oh, right. I thought we was on about the questionnaire. No, I'm going to give you a chance to get yourself into the wind column a bit. All oh, right. And then we're going to do the questionnaire. Is, is he in shot there, Dick? Yeah, uh, go right there. Yeah. Shot, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's your chance. Here's your big chance. Don't mess it up. Oh, my yeah, God. no, I'll give you that. That's pretty good, mate. You can stop. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> so I've, I've redeemed it. Yeah, so now now it's one one. Yeah, that's well, because I I was warmed up. I I I remembered it from last week. So. I just think if one of you loses, the other one has to win. Uh, you can't. No, you can't. I, no one get any. Points. I think it depends on the challenge because I've not obviously done this challenge. If I'd maybe like come up with a challenge. No, so are we? Hmm. Well, like I swear. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a hard one. <laughs> How do we work that out? Well, if, we'll just. Do I, I win if he loses? As with the... Uh, Does he lose if I win? Yeah. As with... <laughs> I think as... <laughs> no. <laughs> I think as with uh, most things with this podcast, we'll just kind of <laughs> figure out as we go along. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, completely winging it. But I don't know if you wanted to... Uh, do we want to talk about what we've been up to first and then do the quiz, or do you want to go straight into the quiz? Well, we'll, we'll have a bit of a chat about what we're, we've been up to. Okay. Um, we've been. What have we been doing? So yeah, I think we were on last episode, but we uh, we did a we done a shoot uh, yesterday, um, taking photos of trucks and trailers. Yeah, uh, 
the five-year-old in, in me was very happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was good fun. Um, got some good stuff, I think, as well. But Yeah, and we got very dusty. We got extremely dusty, yeah. We, did, we didn't realise that the yard was going to be just a load of loose dirt, really. Mm. Uh, we weren't prepared for that. I wore my really nice fans, yeah. and they came out as not really nice fans. No, well, we both wore black day. vans, and yeah. they both ended up being, like, creamy grey vans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, a dusty grey. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and we got it all over the, the gear as well, didn't we? Yeah. So there was a lot of uh, brushing down of cameras, so they didn't sound... I think there's still some in mine that we need to look at. Yeah, there's still we? some in your in your lens cap. You can hear it, like, grinding <laughs> as you <laughs> turn it off. Great. <laughs> How difficult is it to clean out that, though? Is it all right? You just brush it, and there, there it is. Oh, it's so pretty easy, then. Pretty easy, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Simple answer, yes. But one of the... Good, but I think my favourite thing from yesterday um, was that we got to use our drone um, for the first time for a client, um, and I I was I was bricking it a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, because you you've only got like an hour and a half worth of flight time with the battery. Mm, but, yeah, they haven't got a massive capacity, have they? But uh, how did I do? You smashed it. Yeah, I didn't want to say I, I smashed it. it we I, was I even sat with. Uh, one of the um, one of the lads that that work for the client, uh, he, he looks after all the trucks and that. And while Heb was flying the drones, he was uh, he was looking over and he was like a little kid getting excited <laughs> over the Christmas present. Like, yeah. oh my, like he was, yeah. And it was good. He, yeah, he, no, he did do a good job. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I, I think, I think the really fact good. that because we went out previously, didn't we? And mm. uh, we knew. What? Because when we got this client, we wanted to make sure that we'd uh, we prepared ourselves for for what we was going to be shooting. So we went out and Heb practiced doing similar style shots, mm. but we on my car. car. So it's a much smaller subject, isn't it? Yeah. And how did you find it, shooting my car? It was no, it was it was still okay. Um, Obviously, I think like if you keep to a certain speed, that's easier for me. Yeah, because um, the drone is it's, it's a Mavic Mini Two for anyone that's uh, uh, interested. It can only go so fast. It's got a sport mode, but if you put it in sport mode, it really offsets the gimbal. Oh, uh, does it affect it a lot? Do you find? Yeah, like if you does the when you've got it in sport mode as well, does the gimbal move faster as well um, than in cinematic? Like, does it move? I'm smoother not, on cinematic to be or... honest I'm not sure because I've, I've not used sport mode that much purely because I, I, I pretty much use sport mode to get it from A to B like for, for instance yesterday we followed the trucks out of the yard um, and then they turned around and came back and I wanted to be back at the yard before the trucks got there so I put it on sport mode and it beat the trucks back to the yard which I was really impressed with it doesn't do bad on sport mode yeah. considering like the trucks what would they have been going 20, 30 yeah, on that road something like that so it's, but, it's not bad the trucks are a lot easier to follow just because they're so much bigger. Mm. Um, yeah, you've got more to mm, fit yeah, in yeah. the frame, haven't That's you? It. And we, yeah, we ended up following them really nicely and getting some really smooth uh, shots and got some nice top-down ones. Mm. That we've yeah, they, they turned out really well. I edited them yesterday and there's not one shot that's worse than the other. They all fit together really nicely. And yeah, you've done a, you've done a good job, mate. Yeah, smashed it. Right. Yeah, looking forward to showing that one. Yeah, um, no, I, I once am. We, get the, we need to do some more filming for it, don't we? But, yeah, uh, there's some parts that we need to finish it off. Yeah. Um, we're getting the trucks going towards the, the Humber Bridge, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. Uh, we've talked a lot about the Humber Bridge lately. Yeah, yeah, well, because <laughs> um, one of your photos is the Humber Bridge, yeah. the Sky Fakes guy. Yeah, I, I, that kind of kick started all the conversation. Yeah, um, <laughs> and uh, I think we spoke about doing that shoot as well yeah. last episode. Yeah. Just talk about the same things every podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we were saying it was too windy, weren't we? But um, yeah, we need to find a nice clear day to do that. Yeah. yeah I'm, more, I'm much more confident now, definitely. Yeah, I was going to say, are you more confident after yeah. doing that? I suppose that's in the, in that setting, um, it's giving you a good, not test run, but because it's yeah. a more controlled setting yeah, and yeah, we're yeah. not on the roads. Yeah. Um, having to deal with other cars and traffic, mm. like it, there's a much more in Absolutely. your favour. Yeah, um, yeah, and uh, <laughs> I've said this before. I think I attribute being able to fly it all right because it is like a 
uh, like a game control mm. pad, I attribute being okay with it, at it because of playing video games. Yeah, yeah that. Um, so, uh, mum and dad, if you're listening and watching, <laughs> <laughs> I finally got some use out of playing video games. <laughs> Um, there was a reason for probably it. my wife too <laughs> um, yeah no it was good enjoyed it and we yeah. got some good photos as well like we say yeah no some really good photos a lot of photos um, and it's uh, it seems to be the, the a reoccurring uh, a thing thing after every shoot that we do especially now that we're both taking pictures there's a large amount of pictures to go through yeah um, but it's good because there's a lot there's a lot of choice but it's also hard because all that choice yeah. is equally as good as the last photo. Well, and like I was saying to you last night, like so, because you said <laughs> you often take the same picture like ten times yeah. or something. So, and, and, but like, <laughs> there's like a, a a smidgen of a difference <laughs> between each picture. So it's so hard to decide like. Do I want that little bit of extra bit I'm, in the frame or do I want that? I'm a very big hypocrite because we've talked, I was mul- gonna say. We've talked multiple times about film photography yeah, and yeah. how it's, it's helped and us set up photos and <laughs> yeah. really treasure the one shot, but there's me just going... Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it, no, it's, I guess it's just my process. It's like part of my thinking process now. I think obviously because we have digital cameras, we can do it, we can afford to do it. Well, yeah. Uh, and yeah, I just, I'll take a photo and I'll think, now let's try it like that. Now let's try it like that. <laughs> and that's just my process now. Um, so, yeah, sorry, because uh, you're going to have to go through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's me that has to go through it all. You're going to have to go through it. But no, it's all right. I, 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 in a way, I do enjoy going through all the different pictures, even though it does. it is a bit of a painstaking process. It's There is some yeah. enjoyment in it. It's like, because I'm kind of seeing the whole shoot come to life. Last shoot, it was probably easy for you because I went through my photos. You went through the photos. And deleted, yourself, yeah. The delete. Uh, well, more so chose the ones that I wanted to use. Yeah. Um, which was the spotty dog one, which will hopefully be showing soon. Um, and uh, this time we didn't because I just dumped it all on your computer yeah. and left you to yeah. it. <laughs> there you go. Have it all. Cheers, yeah. mate. But uh, yeah, we'll maybe have to do that next time. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, probably just because if I look at them, I'll know which one in my head I that I know which I got right. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll we'll, we'll do that now. But um, yeah, so it, it was a successful shoot. Yeah. We uh, we really enjoyed the day. It, yeah. It's uh, something different to what we've been doing for the for the time we've been a business. Mm. It's it's more well, it's, it's more it's more towards the direction of corporate stuff. Yeah, definitely, which is. Which is good. It's yeah. it's the direction we want to be in, and it's something that we and we still enjoy it because they they came to us for the style that we shoot rather than coming to us yeah, asking yeah. for just Definitely. your standard pictures. Yeah. Um, Adam at Britpole said he likes the way that I edit my pictures, and he wants me to do yeah. something sim- similar for the trucks, which is good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's it makes it a bit more enjoyable for us. But then it's still enjoyable doing other bits oh, yeah, as yeah, well. Of course, yeah. But to to allow allow ourselves to put our own touch mm. on it, it's it's yeah. nice. I just want to use the drone for every shoot. Yeah, <laughs> it's the most the most fun bit, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, get in touch. <laughs> we'll shoot anything with the drone. Yeah. <laughs> um, Okay, you ready for some questions? I think so. I think you're going to do okay. I think you're going to surprise yourself. Oh, no, I'm I'm definitely going to do okay. I'm, um, I'm a genius. We all know this now. What are you laughing at, Dec? <laughs> Dec, are you keeping score, mate? Yeah. So I'm going to... We're not going to pay you ever for <laughs> laughing at me. I don't know how many questions we're going to do, so we'll just play it by ear. Um, you it, said Ten. I, yeah, I know. You're going to do more than 10 now? I don't know, it might be some oh really good God, ones. I won't prepare for this. I knew I was going to get 10 right. Um, if you, yeah, if you're getting too many right, I'll do more. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, it's multiple choice. There's four. Okay, right. Four, four answers, uh, four uh, multiple choice answers per question A to, A to D. That probably makes it harder. Do you think? I don't know. 
We'll find out. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> we'll uh, see. All right, question one. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> um, when was Photoshop invented? A, 1992. B, 1965. C, 1999. Or D, 1987. I want to say 1999. What's your logic behind it? Because that was the first thing that popped up into my head, and I've said, I'm sure. Okay, so there's no logic then. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, but you asked me what's my logic. And that's the only thing that came into my head. Uh, no, it's uh, D, 1987, no. and I'm guessing that's basically when like Apple started making. I don't know, this, this is all guessing. I don't know if. Apple Macintosh at that point, I think. Yeah, um, so there you go. 1987 Photoshop. Oh, it was on Macintosh, wasn't it? I, I, I watched a, uh, a Linus Tech uh, video the other day on uh, Facebook and there was um, they had all the people that worked there try and edit something with the first Photoshop. Oh, okay. I, sh- I should have probably yeah. known the date from that, really. See, that's logic. Yeah, <laughs> that is logic. <laughs> but, yeah, there was uh, trying to edit on the, the first Photoshop and it's extremely basic, compared to what it is now, which okay. you'd expect from something that old. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's um, it's a lot different to what it is now. Like, they've come oh, yeah. an extremely well, when, long way when did, uh, when did Lightroom come out? Lightroom? Because that's even... I don't know why you're asking me, because I got the first question wrong. So. <laughs> well, <laughs> is that the second question? <laughs> no, it should be. Because you don't know the answer. No, uh, it was just genuinely interesting. Um yeah, there's no like facts behind these questions, which is a shame. Cause oh, right. 2007. 2007 Lightroom. Oh, right. Oh, right, okay. That's interesting. So the the must have got to a point when they thought they need a, a quicker workflow because mm-hmm. uh, like everyone would have been using Photoshop to yeah, edit yeah, pictures, yeah. but there's no there's no fast workflow with it. Compared, no. Like with Lightroom, True. you can set up all your different libraries, yeah, yeah. Uh, all your different presets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Photoshop, you can just only upload the photo, so... They obviously made a there's, brilliant move. No, there's a certain. That. I don't know when. There's like uh, actions on Photoshop, so you can yeah. set it up to like a to a key, so like the uh, function buttons. Oh, I right. don't know how deep that goes, um, but yeah, I, I suppose you're right. Okay, question two. Uh, the first aerial images were taken of which city? A. New York. B. Paris. C. London. Or D. Birmingham. <laughs> Just right, just have it. Just have a think Deck about it. nodded to me on New York, so I'm just no. going to say New York. Why are you helping him? <laughs> no, right, no. I wasn't listening to the rest because I was just thinking about Deck. <laughs> okay, well, you're wrong. <laughs> it's no, Paris. I, no, I would have said Paris if I did. No, <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> I told you I wasn't listening to the rest, and that was your cue to repeat the answers to me. Well, um, it's Paris. Yeah, I assume, obviously, uh, because of like the Eiffel Tower and stuff. It's, that's probably been there longer than most New York skyscrapers, I would guess. Really? Yeah. Oh, that that gets some, uh, get some information up, Mr. Producer. What, what What's it saying? Um, yeah, 1889. Eiffel Tower? Yeah. yeah. Huh. Not that old. Yeah, but New York didn't get skyscrapers until like the 40s, though. Or what yeah, we'd consider well, skyscrapers. The Statue of Liberty was 1875. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. Mm. So your kind That's of information on that was completely false, really? Your well, reasoning I, behind why. Well, I mean, I didn't claim. Yeah, to, your logic. I, didn't, I mean, I didn't claim to have the facts. Well, don't tell me the facts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a good one. I think you'll know this. Yeah. Why did people never smile in old photographs? A, it was considered rude. B, they had to sit there for hours because of the long exposure. C, people had bad teeth and didn't want to show them. D, it was forbidden to smile in public. <laughs> oh, I'm going to say it's the uh, long exposure one. Are you sure? I don't know. Yeah, it's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that to me? <laughs> to keep yeah, long exposure. Yeah. Yeah, it is common to have... The best ones. How do you explain why? And I know you'll get this right rather than the last one. What? Well, why they can't smile with a long exposure for the people that don't uh, understand. Well, because so exposure is how fast the photo is taken, basically. Um, And nowadays we've got very good sensors in our cameras that can detect light a lot better than 
what they used to use, which is essentially a pane of glass. Um, so obviously nowadays we can take a photo and it takes the light in straight away, puts it onto a screen on my cameras and shows you what it looks like. But back in uh, whenever they had to do these, uh, probably 1800s. Um, so I'm guessing sit there a long time. What, what did they to... use? I wonder what they used back in the day for because with film photography, you get different ISO yeah, films, uh, don't you? Yeah. Um, so I'd imagine would it be similar to that, but they hadn't got to the point, obviously, where uh, I don't understand how the, how you get the different ISOs with the reels of film because it's it's grain. Right. It's grain on the film. So. Oh, so it lets in more light through the yeah. grain? Yeah, so each, each right, film okay. has uh, a certain number of grains. Yeah. So 100 ISO, there'll be only 100 grains on the f- I think this is, I might be butchering it, this explanation. Um, but uh, it only had like 100, 100 grains on there. But that allows it to let more light in. Whereas, oh, right, okay. Yeah, like that, that, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they used to use. I'm pretty sure they used to use panes of glass instead of film, and then they'd shine a light through that, and then you get your printed. That's interesting. Photos. Um, yeah, I think my uh, godfather still does a little bit of like glass photography. Oh. Yeah. Um, I never knew that. Oh, I wondered how they. Uh figured that out like will something have been sh- like shining through a, a um, bit yeah. of glass and I, thought why is that why I'm is that sure, made a picture i'm sure phone. i've been told the story before but i can't remember <laughs> um maybe we have to do another podcast on that yeah we'll have to get your god that father on i bet he uh, yeah he because, yeah uh okay um you have instagram you like instagram i do yeah what was the first subject of the first photo uploaded to instagram a a girl on a beach B, breakfast cereal. C, a dog near a taco stand. D, a camera body. Uh, I'm going to say a camera body because the Instagram logo is a, like a camera, so I can't think what else it would be. No, it was a, a dog near a taco stand. And that was the first picture. I've got to think what's one of the most popular things on the internet. Yeah, dogs. Dogs. It's literally like what? So the most Googled. Thing. Oh, yeah, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, yeah. On uh, social media as well, especially like it's like everyone's main. It's like the interest of the most people, if that makes sense. Yeah. So uh, most people have in common that they're interested in dogs. Because um, if you if you go on your analytics and because it, it sometimes shows you people's interests, um, I don't know if it still does or not, but it definitely used to, and it's always dogs, and it always used to confuse me because be like, why would people be following me that? Got such a strong interest in dogs, but mm. I think it's just like common. Um, yeah, yeah. No, common everyone does basically. like dogs. That, um, is, um, that was stupid of me. Okay, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this properly. I always get it wrong. I think. Um, what is Boca? Boca. 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 B o k e h. A the aesthetic quality of the blurred of the. <laughs> Start again. The aesthetic quality of the blur produced in the outer focus parts of an image. B, the amount of noise in a photo. C, it's an acronym. D, a certain part of a tripod. A. Yeah. Do you want to talk about it? Uh, so bokeh can be uh, different on different lenses because so bokeh, like you said, it's it's created with the outer focus parts of the image. Any um, Any image will naturally have bokeh for, for the out of focus parts unless you're you're using a higher f stop where you're letting less light in and getting more in focus. Uh, when you're using the low f spot stops, that's when you're creating a shallower depth of field and you're getting more out of focus with the bokeh. But bokeh can be different depending on how many aperture bl- blades um a lens uses. So I know that, like, for example, Ari Alexa, they use more aperture blades to make a rounder, okay. um, a rounder ring 
which in turn makes the bokeh just round, just yeah. pure round, um, like balls. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, so when there's that. less, um, when there's less aperture blades, it doesn't necessarily make the bokeh like a star. Yeah, but okay. it makes Hexagon. it like so. It either you get like a donut, mm. which is a circle within a circle. Uh, in case no one knew what a donut looked like. <laughs> I just thought about that as I'm saying it. <laughs> so no one knows what a donut looks like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, so, yeah, and then... You're a donut. I think, <laughs> yeah, I am a donut. <laughs> and then I think you get, uh, like, two circles overlapping each other. Right, yeah. Um, but, yeah, w- with the more expensive lenses, they they put more aperture blades in to create okay. a more perfect circle because that's much more pleasing to the eye yeah i didn't know that actually that's good yeah. um okay so you've come on you know with, uh, with ollie griff <laughs> the next two questions we've kind of covered actually so you should get this right what what how many questions are we on and what's the score uh, ollie's got two right and three wrong okay ah. so you're probably gonna get these two right what is aperture measured in spots fractions f-stops inches F stops. Yeah. For some so, reason I was going to say spots at first because I was like, <laughs> so. What do you know what f stops are? I don't actually. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Uh, I don't know. It's just I, one of those is it a fraction? You, just fraction those, of a stop? Uh, right, yeah, that might be actually. That, it's just one of those things. The number of an optical system, such as a camera's lens, is the ratio of the system's focal length to the diameter of the entrance pupil. Yeah, there's no way I'd have known that. No. So basically, <laughs> a, basically a, a ratio. Right, okay. So like the, the F-stop it's just one of those increments st- are like stops of light. Yeah, yeah. So like the lower, like it's it's like backwards to the way you'd normally think. The lower the F-stop, yeah. the more light you're letting into the lens because the aperture's it's, wide or open. It's the distance between the lens and the hole, isn't it? Yeah. The lens edge and the hole, basically. Yeah. Also so if it's a... Right, that makes sense. A, yeah, yeah. Gives you, lets your brain work a little bit to understand what it is. Yeah, it yeah. It's just one of those given things, though, with photography that I've just never kind of questioned. No. It's like, like you know what it does. T- uh, but... t- TV and AV on the camera. Yeah, we spoke about this the other day. I was like, what does that mean? No, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it means, that. but you know, one means aperture priority, yeah. and then the other means shut up priority. Yeah. But they, they don't say a. P or yeah SP SP so it's always uh, confusing. On um, so on cinema lenses, uh, you might have to get this up deck if it lo- if you can find it. But they're not measured in f stops. I think they're measured in in t's. Oh right. Um, I don't know why exactly, but it's a more. Uh, There's a more of. More. T-stop. T stops, yeah. I, I think there's yeah, there's probably more increments of of T stops. Right. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I'm not so maybe search deck wise. So an F stops a mathematical equation, whereas a T stop is the actual measurement of light transmitted through the lens. Oh, okay, right, right. Okay. yeah. That's... So I guess a T stops kind of more accurate. Yeah, I'd yeah. imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Sure. That's cool. Tell you something else today. I'm, I'm learning so much, mate. <laughs> that's with the hours and hours of YouTube that I watch just <laughs> on the cameras and lenses and stuff like, uh, yeah that's what you're here for then oh, you, you go ahead and open it deck it's just a can of coke yeah a can of coke <laughs> um, or the soft drinks yeah, yeah. Um, kind of roller cobbler <laughs> <laughs> panda pop <laughs> we've, uh, we've covered we've, we've covered this already <laughs> <laughs> we've covered this already um, so again, you'll get this right. So, what is often a side effect of using a higher ISO setting? A color imbalances. B digital noise. C battery drain. D big green pixels. Well, you do get big green pixels, uh, but you get a lot more noise. Right. But you can get green pixels. <laughs> well, it's, it's, I'm, well, I'm assuming it's D. Uh, but I don't know about big green pixels. Commit to an answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's digital noise. <sighs> but, yeah, I'll, I'll take digital noise. So yeah. that's all right. But um, you do get green pixels, so D's yeah. not wrong. Well, yeah. Oh, because they're just because like, right, it's red, dead, dead blue, yeah. and green. Yeah. Okay. So. 
Yeah, RGB. RGB. Red, green, and blue. Um, what camera did NASA use and leave behind to photograph the first steps on the moon? A, Nikon, Nikon. B, Pentax. C, Hasselblad. D, Canon. Ooh, I'm going to say Pentax because that's like an old, oldly, like an old camera. You was on the right track. Yeah. It's it's Hasselblad. Hasselblad, right. Yeah. Which is I, I was older. I was gonna go either either or with them. I definitely wasn't gonna pick the Nick on our yeah. kind of. I didn't know they left it behind. No, that's interesting. No, I guess they. Uh, Do you was... think they left it behind on purpose, or like they got back in the spaceship and got halfway back to Earth <laughs> and was like, oh God, <laughs> <laughs> we left the camera. <laughs> oh, all those all those photos of aliens <laughs> lost. <laughs> um, Can't believe. Did you pick the camera up? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I'd assume that was calculated on weight. Uh, yeah. Can you stop bringing there, smart yeah. responses? <laughs> to... Just a producer deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're trying to. <laughs> no, you're probably right though. Um, but I guess the, I guess they took the film out, obviously, and brought it back with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How did it? How, do us to use? Yeah, oh, that's yeah. good. I like that. Yeah. That's very good. Um, well, because they filmed up there, obviously. That should be some of uh, the next merch that we bring out. Developed on the dark side of the moon. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> like that. Yeah. So we've got a uh, tongue. No. Uh, <laughs> you can't even say <laughs> can't it. Right? I remember what it was. <laughs> Mouth fumbler. Mouth fumbler and uh, developed on the dark side of the moon. That's cool. Let us know if you want to purchase <laughs> any of this. <laughs> um. What does HDR stand for? HDR. HDR. High. Wait. I didn't give you high the... dynamic range. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's an avoid right. Should have asked you. You know how a camera takes a HDR picture. Oh, you spoke. You, you spoke more specifically. You phone more specifically. Right. Go on then. Yeah. Uh, so it'll take three pictures, and it'll take one. Underexposed, uh, okay. one exposed correctly, Mid-term. and then one overexposed. Oh, right. And then it'll put all the three t- bits yeah. together, and then that'll mean you've got well exposed highlights as well as cool. well exposed midtones and well exposed shadows. That's cool. Magic. God, you do know a lot. Of, you do watch a lot of YouTube, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> I think cameras <laughs> and and like film stuff. Are, that's the most I know about anything. Ask me about sport, I know nothing. <laughs> like you'll talk about MMA and UFC, and I've got no idea about it. <laughs> but ask me about cameras, and I'll tell you. Well, that's why I think we make a very good team, because you know, kind of all that side of stuff. And yeah, then I'll maybe come at it from a more like creative angle, I'd say. Yeah. Um, and sort of with a direction as well. Start choking people out when I'm <laughs> taking pictures. Yeah. Don't you remember Not yet. The MMA time? <laughs> um, everyone's paid us on time so far. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't pay us, you know what's coming. <laughs> I'm not. I, see, this one, you're going to get this one as well. Yeah. It's like too easy. Not even for you. What do you mean, even for me? <laughs> well, you just said I know more. So, like. <laughs> that was. I'm basking in that glory. You've made up for me insulting you in the week. <laughs> uh, what scale? No, this is good though because it's actually it's actually turning into quite an educational podcast. Yeah. What scale is used when measuring the colour temperature of the light? A Fahrenheit. B Kelvin. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ruin the suspense. Well, the C Celsius. D Newton. If I know it, I'm, there's no point. There's yeah. No point messing around. All right, well, let's stop messing around then. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's the most viewed photograph in history? No, I told you theory. I, I don't know. Don't ask me theory. The most viewed <laughs> photograph in history is a Windows computer wallpaper. True or false? That's the only options. And? Stop looking at deck. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm comparing with deck. Yeah. Uh, 
Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> and, and... Is it a real photo? Uh, did they get on paint? No, <laughs> I'd be impressed if they did. I, I'm guessing it's well, still depends, cause it's green hills. Like, well, right? A lot of people have used computers, but there's been a lot of photos around before Windows. Um, I'm just going to go with my gut and say false. That's true. Oh. Yes. Mark him down. God. Did you like my logic behind it, though? It's uh, six to him and four to you. Okay, right. You're getting all the hard ones now. <laughs> How much was paid for the world's most expensive photograph? Four million. Sixty-nine million. million. No, listen. All oh, right. <laughs> You're not going to play. <laughs> um, four million three hundred thirty-eight thousand five hundred dollars. Ten million dollars. One million three hundred eleven thousand two hundred dollars. Or twenty five million three hundred twelve thousand and four hundred dollars. I'd say the twenty five million one. Wait, hang on. That was D, yeah. Twenty five million is. Scar. No, no, no. Is that what he's asking? Twenty. Oh. Is that the one you picked? Yeah, that's the one I picked. Right. Hang on then. No. Oh. Maybe think it was right then. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, it's C. No, you can't it's change. B. It's A for A. four million. <laughs> what? It oh. doesn't. Tell us what it was. Oh. <laughs> she isn't very good. Well, Deck. Give us that one for the uh, Windows background. Yeah, there yeah. it was. It's probably worth that now. Deck, get on, get on there. Get on the schmoogle. <laughs> um, so, how much was it? And it's $4,338,500. That's the most expensive? Photograph. Photograph. Most expensive photograph. Right, okay. So, so someone has right, gone into uh, a museum... Andreas Gursky, and it was called the Rhine Two or Rhine the Second, and it was a photo of the Rhine. Oh, let's have a look. Have you got it? Really, no. it, it's an alright photo. But that that's all <laughs> yeah. for yeah for that much. When yeah. did the when was it? When did the paint? Nineteen ninety nine. Uh, that's weird. What I yeah. was going to say is usually things like that sell for a lot because you can use it as a tax write off. So that's why I was going. Yeah, it must be like twenty. Oh, right, okay. Oh. Do you think it like? Um, do you think it was considered to be like high art or something? Because it's like, it looks almost like a painting, in the way it's composed. Oh, well, it, it also says um, details such as dog waters and a factory were removed with digital editing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was very anticlimactic. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it was only a print that was sold. Oh, really? So for for the listeners, by the way, the the picture is uh, like just it's as like simple a, as it's a river, like it's... the river, but just like bank in the foreground, bank, bank in the background, river bank, sky. yeah, and that's that's all it is, um, and it's sold for for four million. Well, we want to get selling pictures, mate. I know. I know. I've sold loads of pictures like that. Yeah. Picture uh, of the Anko. Yeah. So anyone want to buy that? <laughs> I've got it on my uh, my hard drive waiting for you. <laughs> NFT. 10 million. Make it an NFT. NFT, yeah. We need to find out about this. Yeah, I was uh, I listening to a, a uh, podcast about that the other day, and um, it's quite interesting what people are doing now yeah, with uh, selling very like digital yeah. art and that. Um, yeah. But I, I, I don't fully understand how no, how it's done or how it's made so unique. I'd like to get something like, else to talk the, about the, it. the way I think about it is, so when you take a picture, if it's, um, if it's not compressed, a raw file, it's got metadata on it and that metadata is specific to no. that image that you've taken. Is it similar to that? They're, um, they're basically part of the Ethereum crypto blockchain. So then, yeah, not to get too deep into it. I think we've we've got someone in mind that we want to come on, haven't we, to talk about it? Who? In in great detail. Um, Kyle. We want to ask Kyle, don't we? Oh, right, okay, yeah, okay. Because he's getting 
well into it, I think. I think that was really uh, up for explaining. I then. mean, if you can do us a brief summary. <laughs> yeah. I was. I wanted. I don't want to be left on an anticlimax, not knowing what <laughs> what it means. Ethereum's a crypto, and then but basically that crypto can uh, it can also support an NFT. So then it has its like it's similar to kind of what you said. It has its own unique part of it. Like it's a unique serial code. Like yeah. yeah. It's not in the in the way that if you bought an Ethereum, you can trade. Or like a Bitcoin, you can trade that for another Bitcoin. You can't trade that and then replace it. Oh, that's yeah, that's what there was um, saying. Is it um, non-fungible? That's That's it. Yeah, Yeah. I still have no idea (laughs) what what it is. Yeah, it's basically like it's a a digital asset that there's only one of. Yeah. I just, I guess, I just don't understand. I, it's a bit of a con. It, so not, it's like we'll not you, get into it too much, but I don't understand how it can be unique and singular. Same, because I've seen. Uh, I mean, I've seen. Well, like, yeah, the things that you can swing in a club. Yeah. And then I've seen someone selling three hundred of it. Yeah, it's yeah. A slightly different point of the swing, yeah, but it's the that's same. That's what I mean. It's, it's, mm. it's yeah. a headbutt picture. But it's, um, someone, what, uh, a fighter from the UFC, had one done, and he put it on his Instagram. So I was thinking. Surely we can just copy yeah. it off your Instagram. Well, I, th- I think the point is that so if you because like there's certain parts of the image or whatever that's that's unique to it, if you do copy it or whatever and sell it on to someone else, you can get like they, they can get you that's done it. for it. Get you, <laughs> get, get you done. That's all I could think. Tell on you. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, that there's. Because it's got its own unique serial number or right. whatever, so to speak, there's it points directly okay. to you if if you've sold it um, it's like wrongly. It's a digital version of it's, it's, it's like selling to a natural painting, and then everything else is a print. Right. Okay. So, like you taking that Instagram picture, you've got a print. Yeah. Whereas they've got. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Fair enough. That's NFT, everyone. <laughs> we'll, we'll cover that in more detail. It's like. At some point, when we uh, when we speak to someone that we know that this <laughs> deals, it's like and stuff like that. It's it's both very interesting, but kind of also really boring. <laughs> 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 and I feel like you've got to have like a degree to understand it. We'll we'll I'm, see. I'm, no, I, I find it quite interesting. To be um, honest. Watch a YouTube video. What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's, what's the score? Uh, How many questions have we done? I think two. 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah.
C. Freezing the light in Italian. Or D. Stopping the light in French. Oh, that's a nine. I was hoping you'd say Japanese because I'd have guessed... I was hoping it would be <laughs> Japanese because I'd have guessed Japanese because Boca is Japanese. Right. And I was just saying... I was thinking, oh, well, yeah, it must be... Freezing the light, I don't know. Freezing the light? You're just saying that because it's Italian. Yeah. It's not. It's, it's B, it's drawing the light. Drawing the light. In Greek. Yeah, so a uh, photo comes from ancient Greek, I think. Does it? Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, the word photo. Then graphy, I, I presume, is the drawing element of it. Um, right, what, what else? What's the score again? So it'll be like on like seven. I'm five, winning seven six. I've got a point. Seven six. Yeah. Stop trying to get to the point where I'm I'm, where I lose. Point. No, this isn't fair. I think there should be two more. How many questions have we done? That'd be fifteen if there's two more. No. Okay. I did ten <laughs> pictures on my round. Ten what was, questions. What was the most popular fair. photography subjects in the 1800s? <laughs> I don't know. A horses. B the deceased. C, teacups, D, trees. How have they found this out? I was expecting to look at the picture. Um, I was expecting portraits are like farmers and stuff. I don't know. You've... Just have a... So, have a think about the questions. I don't know I'm helping you. Have a think about the questions. No, no, no. Like, you tell me the Let questions. Me have a think about the questions that we've asked previously and in that time period. <laughs> That's not one of the answers. In that time period. I can't think about the previous questions that we've asked in that time period. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Just take a guess then. Uh, take ups. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a that was a joke. No. <laughs> was a joke. No, I'm taking that as a joke. Horses. <laughs> no, you're still wrong. Oh. It's uh B the deceased. Um right. What have we talked so, about already? Because people didn't smile in photographs because it took so long to take. <laughs> oh, right, okay. It's so, easy to take a picture of a dead person because they don't move very much. <laughs> what option was trees? They yeah, exactly yeah the wind. I guess the teacups. You can <laughs> stay like it's teacups, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seeing a teacup grow legs and run off when I'm taking a picture of it. <laughs> I've tried my yeah, I've tried my best to help, uh, but I think you probably as well, made it harder. I think as well they did a thing, didn't they, where they used to pose dead people, and like the family would come and like sit with them and they take photos of them all together, like one last time. Do you want a little quick story about that? Yeah, sure. You know when so, you do a first aid course and you do the thing on the doll, that face on the doll was actually a woman's face. Oh right. And she was from Poland or Russia. She's called Anne. That's why they're called Russusians. Oh, they used to make a death mask of their face to keep it. That's really creepy. Really like <laughs> they used to call that model, so then everyone's been practising kissing instead for all this. Uh, I've, oh. I've done CPR training. <laughs> that's weird. Thanks, Dave. Well, at least we trained, though. <laughs> like, yeah, let's try. That's the main purpose of it, and yeah, CPR training. Can you still remember it? Uh, I know you have to sing a song. No, the <laughs> no, the elephant. What? Nelly the elephant, that's what we got to. Up. No, uh, no, it was... Uh, Staying alive. Staying alive, yeah. yeah right. But I don't know how, for how, how many times. I just know there's a song. Just singing this person on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I've got this. I'm trained. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> well, there's a really good advert, wasn't there, with uh, Vinnie Jones in it um, on, the, on the TV. And he was doing the Staying Alive song. Was he? Yeah, it was a really good advert. I have to go watch it. Um, all right, last one, last one. Um, there's two I can catch you out with. Why are you trying to catch me out when I've already gone over the 10 mark? Would you like me to make it unfair? Try and play it fair, yeah. So, this is the one that you're more likely to get right. It's still quite a hard one, okay. Let me check the is answer. Is it a gear first. one? Is it a technical I think so. one? Yeah, I don't know the answer. So, uh, what... Oh, actually, I could have probably figured that out. Um, what are the elements of the exposure triangle? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I 
complete amateur. <laughs> very, very strange knives coming, um, coming from our producer. <laughs> what, what are the elements of the exposure triangle? Um, a, aperture, white balance, shutter speed. B, shutter speed, ISO, camera mode. C, aperture, ISO, shutter speed. Or D, ISO, white balance and flash power. C. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You won. Yes. Aww. Come on. We, so, need, we need we need a soundbar with celebration music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well done. That was a, that was a good quiz. I wish I didn't give you the floss thing though. Well, what was the other one that you was going to catch me out on? Oh, it was um, uh, about a photographer. Oh, right. You did, yeah, you did. Close you did cut me out on that. Yeah. I'd have still won though, wasn't I? No, no. no. It was seven, seven. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Get in there. Well, let's end the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's uh no, no, I, I enjoyed that. Well uh learned a lot. I think. Well or or it was educational at least to anybody listening. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> well, even I learned something and it was <laughs> <Be sure. laughs> that I really like question yes. <laughs> no, I didn't know about the uh the fact that they used to use glass for taking pictures. Well, I, I said that I think I think that's what he's doing. Oh, right. <laughs> I think you might have to check that, but I'm pretty sure before they start to use film, that's what they used to do. Yeah. Oh right, okay. No, I'm not going to trust anything you say now until I see research <laughs> well, yeah. backing it up. All right, let me see. Was the glass instead of film? Yeah. The, um, okay, they used to use uh, like like dead leaves and stuff. Oh. And then they could get the image to temporarily stay on it, but they didn't have like a fixing agent to keep it there. Mm. Okay. I guess maybe glass was so it'd like burn the no, the I image. Burn into it. Oh right, yeah. Okay. I think they were primarily done in the dark as well, or fairly dark places. Photographic plates preceded photographic film, so it was kind of right. But uh, so if if plate? if Declan is saying that, I think that was really early. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna say that I was right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to okay. take that. And, uh, yeah, we'll <laughs> no, add that onto no. my <laughs> episode of the score. Uh, no point, no more points in this podcast. Um, I was just looking well, you, at something on the mic. I mean, you've, you've out. had two points in this podcast. I've had two, yeah, I've had two points in this podcast. But it's it's about me, this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one being quizzed. All right. You wait your turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will. I mean, I'm not happy about it, by the way. Yeah, well, uh, you'll only be waiting till the next one, maybe? <laughs> yeah, whenever that is. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, what have we got coming up? Um, Nothing this weekend. We're off to the pub. We are off to the pub. Yeah, we are. That's what's coming up. I've already been. But then we've got a shoot uh, in two weeks' time. Yes. The... Banking break at the bank, is, which we've already done. Um, done some pictures for, aren't we? for yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but they also would like a film doing, so yeah. we're gonna do a film. Got um, a really nice idea, haven't we? Yeah, we created a bit of a story kind yeah, of yeah. for maybe, it. Maybe explain what the bank is. Like. Oh, it yeah, like you're off to work. oh, yeah. Uh, for anyone not local, but it's a hairdresser and it's in an old bank, yeah, which heads. is why they've. Yeah. Got uh, named it the van. Yeah, but it's a huge building, isn't it? It's, it is. It's like three, four floors. Yeah. Four floors? Three and it's floors? A, yeah. a lot bigger than I expected it yeah. to be. Yeah, it's really cool, though. Um, it's a bit of like a, become a bit of like an institution in the town that we live in for Heron Beauty, and a lot of people get trained up there as well. Mm. Um, so it's good. Yeah. Looking forward so to yeah, it. We're, yeah, we're looking forward to, to shooting that video. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a good idea, and... We're uh, pretty confident that we're going to be able to execute it well, um, I so. <laughs> as long as the uh, the actors, yeah, we need so to, to speak, are, are willing. These are actors. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a fun shoot. We're excited, and we're excited to show you the finished product. Yeah, basically. And, and excited also to sh- to share the latest shoot with Spotty Dog. Yep. Um, which is all done and dusted now. I think maybe we need to have a chat with Chris about when we want to share it. Um, and we I hope I want to share the um, stuff for Brit Pole. So that's the truck trucking client that we've we spoke about earlier. Um, hopefully we can share some of their stuff soon because I'm really happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Apart from that, 
Uh, it's been a pleasure. Make sure if you like what you're hearing and listening to, make sure you like and subscribe or uh, follow us on, on Spotify, if that's what you do, or whichever podcast platform you're on. Um, yeah, it'll um, really help us out and uh, yeah, help us get out there. And yeah, share us to all your friends. Yeah, if you can, that'd be great. Spread Thank the love. Much. Have a very pleasant Monday, which is when this will come out. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Have a good one, guys. See you later. Bye. I'm waving. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>